streets. You were in the thick of it now. You were with but protesters and police. Can you give us more an idea of what they're saying and uh, what you're seeing? I'm getting a lot of feedback right now, so I'm going to see if you all can hear me. Um, I'm hearing myself actually, so I'm not sure if they're able to fix that in the booth. However, take a look right now. We're on Ellis. We're near the University Bookstore. We're here at Le outside of Levy Hall. This is where they have moved a lot of the students after they broke down that encampment. Again, they came in at around 4.45 this morning. They broke down that encampment and told all students that they had to get away from the area. At that point, what they started reading over the loudspeaker, University of Chicago Police said, you are hereby notified that you are committing criminal trespassing by remaining on this private property without permission. You are ordered to disperse immediately and anybody who fails will be criminally charged. Students who fail to comply with this order will be subject to university discipline and immediately placed on a leave of absence. I am currently looking for some of the organizers and I actually... There are definitely a number of students who are out here right now. I can say upwards of 100. Again, many of them are still locking arms just to really hold the line. If I am looking at the number of police here, I would say that there are probably about three dozen police. Again, all of them are University of Chicago police. No Chicago police here. On the perimeter, you do have Cook County sheriffs who are, um, or the Cook County Sheriff Office, who is here rather, and they're all standing here on Ellis. They're just kind of standing by, observing all of this as it is taking place this morning. Um, definitely a tense situation. I'm gonna let you hear a lot of the people as they continue to chant. Um, they're talking about the number of people who have been killed throughout the war. Again, they are really calling on the university to disclose and divest when it comes to its ties to Israel. They're really, trying to hold the university accountable and hoping that the university can really do more. Question, so you're saying you are seeing uh, police officers with the university and did you also say Cook County Sheriff's Office as well? Yes, so in front of you right now, what you're seeing, you're seeing the University of Chicago Police. That's everyone who is kind of in the riot gear right now with the helmets and who have the shields. Then on the back side of me, behind our cameras, which you cannot see, are about maybe, let me count, one, two, three, four. There are five deputies from the Cook County Sheriff Office who are all here on Ellis outside the University Bookstore. So basically just kind of here observing just to ensure that things don't kick up, anything doesn't get rowdy. Um, again, that's where you have the university police who are right here pretty much holding the line and preventing these students and protesters from getting back into the campus as they continue to break down that encampment on the opposite side where our other photographer Dino is. And Darius, we're, we're not going to bring up this audio. Let's bring that the, the gnats of this a little bit down. This because, of course, we're hearing some profanity there from protesters, and we just want to be really mindful of that here as we are live at the University of Chicago. Over the past few days, protesters have told us that they are prepared with their, quote, barriers and their bodies to defend their encampment if the UFC has it dismantled.